Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a really cool project on how you can learn Unreal Engine 5 or just Unreal Engine overall. In your Epic Games Launcher, go to Marketplace and find the content examples. Here you have a completely free project with content examples about anything you wish to learn about Unreal Engine. It's completely free, it's about 5 GB uh, in size and then you can download it, create project and then launch Unreal Engine. Once this is opened up, you get a range in the museum of items and different levels. So if you go to different levels, go to File, then Open Level and then you can see the different levels that you can choose from. But let's start with the first one here. You can just navigate through or just hit play and see what is happening. Now read these pages to see how you can use this example. When I now open this one up, a nifty trick is Ctrl B to find this blueprint or item right into your content drawer or Ctrl E opens up the blueprint. So then you can always see how it is created and the creators added notes uh, so you can learn with this project. When you play or simulate in this project, you can use these interactive stands to just test out a bit. So you can see what happens here and what happens when you stand on this plate or when you go to this triggered light bulb, for example. And then you can exit out and once again, click this if I can aim and then Ctrl E to open this one up. And then you can study once more what the creators put in the comments. Okay, let's check out some levels here. Once again, file, open a level and see, for example, the animation basics and then open that level up and we can play and see what is happening here inside. You get great examples of the skeleton, skeletal mesh and the animation, just very basic, good for beginners. And then you can see what's happening right here, exit out and then open up the one you want to check out. So for example, click here. I can edit the blueprint, see how this is made up of the skeletal mesh, for example. You can always go here to the map, see where it is, open this one up and then really go into depth and learn like this. Or also dive in the event graph and see how that logic here is made up. Another great one is blueprint communications. So this is the basics of any level or project. So go into blueprint communication, check out what this does and how, for example, this button activates this target blueprint. So when you open this one up, you can see what happens here and then click on the other one here. If you can aim and then see how this is all set up, the construction script, what happens when he overlaps, for example, all like this. We already saw some parts of the Chaos Destruction Unreal Engine 4, but in Unreal Engine 5, it's completely integrated. So let's have a look at this one. So if you want to create some cool effects or see some destruction or effects in place, you can come right here and see how they created this. Read the text, open the blueprint, Ctrl B, Ctrl E, or find it in the content drawer. And then you can have a look at the chaos system here as well. Like, I really thought this one looked cool. Common user interface for menus. And so, for example, we again go here. You can test this one out and then see how this is created. Also, there are these question marks, so when you click here, you can click on open help documentation and read them through. Some work, some don't, but you can also still open up uh, the widgets like this here. The IK rig is also pretty fun to check out the inverse kinematics. We have an interactive environment, for example, like this one. Unreal Engine just figures out where the feet and the rest of the bones align up. So you can see the chain pull strength, low pull, high pull, and how these are uh, the same ones but they are configured differently. I also like this one, the additive inverse kinematics and this dragon looking cutely at this block that's moving around and then he's looking at that block. Maybe some things are still a bit difficult, but if you start with the basic levels first, so for example, some say basic level and some say advanced, I would say start with the basics, start in the welcome screen. I have some tutorials on my YouTube channel as well. Start with these and work your way up to the more difficult ones. I also like to look here at the landscape. So open this one. I don't save the select because I want to keep these ones as default so I can study them. Maybe I change something. So this is why I go here. So this is how a landscape is created. And then they use uh, spline tools here so you can create roads for a racing game, for example. And the last one here is about foliage. So how they added foliage in this. And you can also have a look in the level and then have a better look at how they created this one. You can also go here to select mode and then go to the landscape or foliage like that and then study how they did this. The Nigera particle system is also pretty fun to look at, so click on this one to open that one up. So if you look here at the basic hull, for example, you can see some basic particles and how they are set up. It's like magic. So for example, 
Also remember the number because when you exit your screen you don't really see the same one here. So 1.3 for example. So you see this a bit different. Then click the icon and once more you can open with Ctrl E. And then you get here the particle in this example. And also this is made with codes. And then you can really see how is this created. And you can also just enable some things, disable some things, change the values and then see what's happening right here. So for example when I do like this. You see I already did something different. Ctrl Z to undo that one. Static meshes also is something you really have to work a lot with. So let's also look into the static meshes. These are your basic items inside of your game. So for example when I open this one up. This is a normal static mesh which is just an object in your world. But what happens if you set it to movable and then you can read through and then open uh, this one up. Also UV mapping inside of Unreal. How does this look? Light mapping and so on. And then you can open up the different static meshes as well and just have a quick look at this one. So guys, this is a pretty neat project that I really wish you would check out. So that's why I showed you this one right here. So go ahead, download this project. It's not that big in size, but you get a lot from this. And you don't have to go through all it in once. You can also open up the documentation on the official Unreal Engine website and then you can find more about this project, how it's set up, what you can find inside. But I would just go to File, Open Level, see which basic ones you resonate with and have a quick look and try to reproduce them in your own games. More tutorials coming up soon on the YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe to check these ones out. See you next time.